Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about the single most detrimental point of air leakage in your home, the ducted heating return inlet. So every gas ducted heating or air conditioned ducted system has one of these returns. This is where the conditioned air that was just supplied to a home actually gets back for reconditioning and reintroduction into the home. Now, what is critical at this point is the injection point of returning back to the air conditioning system or the ducted heating system. Now, what we see quite commonly done is that the duct is just put directly into the, uh, the top of the return and there isn't much effort put in the air tightness of the top of this plenum. Quite commonly also we see core flute and then the duct is poked through that quite tightly but this is still a significant point of air leakage especially considering that this point is always negatively pressurized so it will draw air from outside anywhere where it can. Now in a double story setting, the return could potentially span the whole height of the home, which means that any air leakage happening in between the floors, when this is under a negative pressure, it will be drawn in between the floors from outside into the return. Now when air is bypassed to the return, that becomes unfiltered air from within the building cavities of your home, which is a massive no-no. Now, if your ducted heating return is situated close to your toilet or your garage with open air connectivity, you could be sucking air from your toilet or your garage where there's a running vehicle, sucking carbon monoxide into the return and distributing it throughout your home. Okay, so the solution for the top of a return is to actually not just put the duct directly into the top of the return, but to cap the top of the return with a piece of MDF or ply and seal that to the frame of the actual return and then cork all of these junctions. As well as that, it's also important to install a lining so that it's quite easy to cork all of the internal junctions so that you're not sucking air from all the wall cavities, which may also be joined to bulkhead systems around your return, or even a internal cavity slider, which we see very commonly done in new builds. The ducted heating return can be one of the largest holes in your home for heating and cooling energy efficiency, but it can also be one of the easiest and cheapest things to fix. 